Welcome, everyone. I'm so glad you guys are here. The Bible tells us what is true about God and ourselves. Have you ever heard of Ten Commitments? Last time we learned how God provided for His people in the wilderness. God's people were hungry and they complained. God heard them and provided for their physical hunger. Do you remember what God gave His people to eat? Yes, that is right, manna and quail. Today we will hear how God provides special rules for His people. Our Bible story is called God Gave the Ten Commandments. God is our Creator and He knows what is best for us. Today's Bible story will help us understand why God gave His people Ten Commandments. Shall we watch today's Bible story video? Three months after the Israelites left Egypt, they came to Mount Sinai. God had chosen the Israelites as His special people, and He wanted them to understand what the relationship should look like. He planned to make a covenant or an agreement with them. Moses went up to the mountain. God told him, this is what you should tell the Israelites. If you listen carefully to me and you keep my covenant, you will be my people. Moses went back to the people and told them what God had said. All the people responded, we will do all that the Lord has spoken. So Moses went back up to the mountain. The Lord spoke to Moses, I am going to come in a thick cloud. I want the people to hear me speak to you so that they will believe you. Moses went back down the mountain and got the people ready to meet God. He brought them out of the camp and they stood at the foot of the mountain. God came down on Mount Sinai in a fire. Smoke covered the mountain. God said, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Then God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. The first four commandments told the Israelites what it looks like to have a relationship with God. Do not have other gods besides me. Do not make an idol for yourself. Do not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The last six commandments told the Israelites what it looks like to have a relationship with one another. Honor your father and your mother. Do not murder. Keep your marriage promises. Do not steal. Do not lie. Do not want what belongs to someone else. When the people heard God talking to Moses, they were afraid. Do not be afraid, Moses said. God wants you to fear him so that you will not sin. Moses went further up the mountain, and for 40 days, God gave Moses many more laws. When God was finished speaking to Moses on Mount Sinai, he gave Moses two stone tablets that he had written on with his own finger. The Israelites continued to disobey God, but each time God brought them back to himself. God wanted to form a relationship with the Israelites. He wanted the people to listen to him and be his chosen people. Moses took the message from God to the Israelites, and the Israelites agreed that they would listen to God and be His people. So God gave them His law. God's law is not just a set of the rules people should obey. It is a picture of how God designed things to teach us how to love God and love other people. The law is like a mirror. It shows our sins, which separate us from God. Because of God's love and mercy, He provided a way to bring us back to Him. Our sin separates us from Holy God, but Jesus came to bring us back to God. When we trust in Jesus, He takes away our sin and gives us His perfect righteousness. All right, everyone, let's pray. Dear Lord, you are a great and holy God. 
Thank you for loving and caring for your people. Thank you that even while we were dead in our sin, you provided salvation and true life through Jesus. May our lives bring honor and glory to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.